Hey, it's Joshua Seth, and for today's five slide challenge, I'd like to show you how you can program your Stream Deck, which you see in the room behind me, to run the shortcuts for your mm -hmm presentations, giving you freedom from the keyboard. Let's get to it, shall we? Now, I just hit a button on the Stream Deck to program that applause cue to come on. In mine, I've got all the sound effects in the center. I've got my mm-hmm effects up top, and then I've got previous and next in the bottom corners. That way I don't have to look down at the keyboard and remember that, say, comma is going to turn on and off the slides, which is the shortcut for that function in mm -hmm. So let me show you how you can very quickly and easily do this if you have a Stream Deck. So here's our first slide, and that is the profile configuration form within the Stream Deck. As you can see, I created a profile called, cleverly enough, mm hmm because it's fun to say. And down the side there, you'll see, oh, Game Capture, OBS Studio, Soundboard, Stream Deck. You want to hit Stream Deck, and you want to slide onto the button of your choice this action. It's called multi-action. Now, what are the actions that we want it to do? Well, there's two of them. The first one, is to simply open the program, open mm-hmm, and the second one is to run a hotkey, whatever that function is that you want within mm-hmm. I'll give you an example. We're talking about hiding a slide. So the first action would be titled mm-hmm, because that's the application that you want to open, and then you'll see their app file, applications mm-hmm dot app. You want it to open the program, very simple. The second function is, in this case, to turn the slide off, but it could be any of the shortcuts. It could be to hide the presenter or to make the slide full screen like this. That's another button that I programmed on the Stream Deck there. So to turn the slide off, we want the hotkey to be a comma because that's the mm -hmm shortcut for turning the slide off. And, and that's it. That's really the, that's the whole thing. It's so simple. And then you program that into a button and you duplicate that for all the buttons that you want. For me, I've got to open mm -hmm at the top and then to hide the presenter and then to put the slide full screen and then to turn the slide on and off. And then again, on the anything you want, for me, it's sound effects in the middle. And on the bottom left and right, I've got previous slide and next slide. It's so easy and it'll make your presentation so much better to not have to look down at the keyboard and hunt around for the shortcuts like that. Hope it helped. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.